dear friends please like my channel subscribe it and do not forget to press the bell icon thank you dear friends in the event of did you know series we have come up with a new video on evolution of eyeglasses for better understanding of our viewers we will start the journey of change in eyeglasses with respect to their shapes sizes etc right from 12th century till date now i am giving you a brief introduction on how it got changed the invention of eyeglasses interlaces with other piece of history such as one of optics and ophthalmology tradition and fashion also played a role in the evolution of this instrument the timeline highlights some of the passages in all these different fields and will help us understand better and appreciate how eyeglasses evolved with time before 12th century ancient people defined eyesight as the most wonderful of five senses and devoted entire studies on the eye and vision they knew how to enlarge things with glass spheres filled with water through which they were able to observe magnified objects ancient romans who were familiar with the mechanism of enlargement and could make glass did not know how to produce lenses for visual aid in 12th century in venice they knew that rock crystal when shaped into strong convex shapes helped vision while reading and these lapids al legidium that is stone for reading are acknowledged in the capitulary which governed the guild of crystal craftsmen these were used as magnifying lenses and were simply placed over the object itself furthermore these craftsmen also made crystal disc which was called roidi dabolitics that is glass plugs that were used to close jar containing precious ointments the scholar luigi jesci realized that by putting the eyes near one of the disc all objects became clearly visible in any case in 1284 the roidi da ogli round glass for the eyes are present in the list of routine production items it is at this stage and right here in venice that we can say that invention of eye glasses take place that is when lenses are properly mounted and placed before the eyes the history of making glass lenses lead to the history of eye glasses in 1301 gustedri vinci the superintendent of venetian arts granted permission to all craftsmen to make glass lenses for reading as long as they would sell them as glass and not as crystal in order to prevent fraud when the transparent and colorless, colorless glass paste was discovered lenses became affordable therefore eye glasses trading could be could go past and borders of the venetian lagoon for the first time according to these recorded documents one can think that in 1300 the art of making eye glasses was a common practice then the first eye glasses were made with round biconvex lenses to improve far sightedness vision the they considered two lenses each assembled with the rim of metal or of rough leather rewited together at the end of each handle they were held before the eyes by hand in order to aid reading but there was still no way to wear them securely and steadily now we come to 14th century with the invention of printing and once book became available to everyone the demand and subsequent popularity of spectacles rose expo exponentially there was an ongoing search for better steadiness of the glasses on the nose to enable activities where the use of both hands was necessary like for copiers engravers goldsmiths etc in the second half of 15th century the glasses for the near sighted are already mounted with biconcave lenses in 15th century the materials used to manufacture frames were whalebone horn tortoise shell and leather the structure of the frame was arched and the spring bridge pinched the nose furthermore they tested a torsion spring metal bridge which tightened the lens rims on the side of the nose however it proved to be irritating and unstable this attempt led to the late 19th century pinching pins ness In the 16th century the trade of glasses expanded across Europe to such an extent as to re require guild regulations. 
And now we come to 16th century. Following the developments in the processing of wire drawing, metal frames, especially copper ones, were increasingly used along with an appropriate shaping of the bridge they could sit along on the nose. This process being so simple and the resulting price being so low, the conditions were ready for mass production and even greater distribution in the market. The search continued to find new ways to secure spectacles firmly in front of the eyes. One was to tie the lenses to a supporting ribbon around the head. One was to join them right behind the ear. Another was a bar that was placed under the wig or hat. The need to wear glasses was continuously supported by the ophthalmology studies in 17th century. The first scholar to separate and order the lenses according to their corrective powers was the Portuguese notary Descartes de Valls. In 1623, he put together a scientific table of lenses approaching that of the inches now replaced by dioptrics. His work using lenses for all kinds of sight problems was ahead of time and established what will be confirmed almost three centuries later by great masters of ophthalmology. Now we head in 17th century. The British optician Edward Scartlett was the first to perfect between 1727 and 1730 the temple glasses. They were equipped with rigid side arms pressing on the temples ending in large loops. Another important innovation in the 18th century was the invention of bifocals or split lenses. Bifocals are lenses with two distinct optical powers. In fact, each lens is actually divided into two parts. The upper part to correct myopia and the lower one press myopia. The 18th century is also the age of eyeglass or lorgnet of the lorgnet and of monocle these are authentic masterpieces of jewelry in gold silver and other precious materials they were often adorned with precious stones they came in different styles and acquired more and more values as a symbols of social distinction the eyeglass became an important accessory in the outfits of burgoisy and is referred to by the french term lorgnon and also lorgnet Depending on the shapes as well as face a man to imitate the sophisticated trend of the French court. 18th century Throughout the 19th century, the most popular eyewear was pince-nez, developed in 1830s with oval lenses, without side arms, and whose stability on the nose depended entirely on the spring support of the bridge. In the same period, the frames became more slender with increasingly thin metal temples that curled behind the ears. These frames called Philly were significantly lighter. In 1873, John Wesley Hyatt from the state patented the discovery of celluloid and a few years later Spencer used it to make eyeglass frames. Celluloid, bakelite and galactite replaced traditional materials and in the early 20th century the production grew rapidly because these materials allow shapes and were totally unthinkable of first decades of the century following an ongoing production improvement eyeglasses became not only irreplaceable for the vision but also a useful instrument to protect the eyes over the years the circulation of picture of celebrities from the world of motion pictures fashion and culture significantly affects the perception of glasses on people's face in recent years the evolution of the transport system caused a remarkable increase in the export of this extraordinary production which is by now successful all over the world. At the end of this century, glasses were considered as an expression of style and personality, certainly among the most important accessories to be owned. The search of new materials combined with the new technologies and design make of Italian eyewear a world leader. The Italian eyewear district is in the Veneto region and has a history spanning over 700 years.